You know, I'm sitting here thinking about um, Christmas. It feels so good. It feels so good. You were a child running around, you know, just growing up listening to the carols and you have a Christmas tree, you have Santa Claus, you have all these stuff. You can remember the scents. You can remember the sensations in your fingers when you when you touch like that just your favorite toy. You know, Christmas the the the, the memory of it it just remains. No matter how much you back off of all that, you still feel like you want to take part. That's one of those conditioning that it is so Im Im impactful. It, it is so hard to let that one go. It is so hard to let it go. Because remember, your body is nothing but food and memory. That's all it is. Food and memory. You know, um, and we hold on to these. The more these things, the more we're conditioned to believe these things. And it's written in the subconscious and it goes on and you just, every, you know, you keep expecting presence and these things and it's all an illusion. It's all an illusion because it is so weird how everyone sees these, this, this thing about well, when you talk about God, every individual sees God differently. You cannot see it the same way, but we can feel the same energy the same the one energy we can feel it the same but we cannot picture a God the same not one person but we can all feel that one energy the same you know um, it comes to a point where where some people just need to say let me explore their own life their own life what it means to be alive what it means to be living what is the purpose of life itself at some point, you have to question these things. If not, you will, ha you will end up in a situation where you're, 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 to you're totally being controlled either by uh, a person, persons, or a system. We have to be aware of these things. And when these times come around, you have to really stand up. You have to stand up. You have to really just stand up and be strong. I'm not telling anyone to, you know, um, to, to stop believing in what they believe in or whatever they're doing. What I'm saying is, at some point, you just probably need to stop and meditate and reflect on the life that's actually inside of this thing that goes on every day without us even being aware of its being there. And you have to explore these thoughts. 
And once you begin to explore these thoughts, a lot of things that you were so limited because of your belief system will automatically start just coming in as information to you. It's not something you have to go out of your way to like go and, you know, go dig up some library books or something. It just comes. It comes naturally. At some point, forget about everything else around you. At some point, you just need to stop and say to yourself, what is inside of me that's called life? What is it really? What does it really mean to be alive? To be alive? What is it? I am alive and I am nothing but a speck. Nothing but a speck. The next man beside me is nothing but a speck. And you can't attach yourself to the next person hoping that whatever their goals are, it's your goal. It's not. We're nothing but specks. And what we need to be concerned about is the life that's within us. To explore these meanings. Don't explore other people's goals. Don't explore where other people are going. You know? Because everyone has the free will. Everyone makes choices. Everything we do are choices. The one thing is for sure that this is not a choice is that there's life inside of us and who is that life and what is that life all about what is this life all about get to the the opening of the third eye and at least to that point and start realizing what's really inside of you We have to stop and think. We have to stop and think. The purpose of this life is to live, is to experience life. Life is not what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. <coughs> Life is not what our goals are. What are we going to achieve? You want to become a doctor or a lawyer? That's not life. Life has nothing to do with any of that. Life is within us. You should be able at some point to actually feel a life inside of you. To feel a life inside of you. If you can feel it, you'll see things you'll never, you never expected to see. Because this is of the Creator. And we were created perfect. Until you know what's inside of you, what's inside of you, that's called life. Until you understand how the um, how the 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 uni the the unification of your body, your mind, you know, and the 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 spirit and that, that spirit that 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 thing inside once you know how to line these things up once you know how to line these things up it there's an amazing feeling 
it's amazing. It's really, really amazing. And once you hit that point, you always want to get back to that high. So question, question, question yourself. What is this life about? Not how to live your life. How to live your life has nothing to do with the life inside of you. All that stuff is is pretty much saying how to how to behave while experiencing life among other life forms. How to behave in this region if you believe in this or believe in that. It's all that same. But that's not life. Life is this thing. It's this thing inside of us. That we are not even at times aware <laughs> that this is all it's about. The life that is inside of us has nothing to do with anything external or anything to do with what mankind creates. Are created. Mankind does not create. Mankind make. They make stuff. I mean you can create in your mind. That's where it begins. But there's one creator. And that creator job is absolute. And it's to create. And he created. Or it created. Or whatever the creator is. Created this beautiful place. And you have to give homage to the Creator because you have that life inside of you. So start looking into this life. Start understanding the reason why you're a man or you're a woman. Forget about gender, but understand what is this life inside of you. What is this life inside of you? Just think about it just really 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 think about it what is this life inside of you <laughs> it is an am it, it's it's so amazing when you find out you don't need a book you don't need anyone to 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 drill you and say you have to do it this way or that way. No, you don't need that. It begins with silence. It begins with listening. It begins with becoming aware. It begins with meditation. Meditation. Breathing. Breathing. Understanding self. You know, and and just be a part of yourself, becoming become a part of yourself. Start understanding what this is really, really, really about. This life. Is really really amazing and when I say this life I don't mean what I've lived it's what I experience when I feel it it is really 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 amazing it took me years to get to that point where I could actually feel it it is truly amazing This has nothing to do with masonry. Nothing to do with Illuminati or anything like that. 
this is life experience your life experience this life it's the only purpose is to experience this life everything else are choices and the principles hermetic principles and all of that stuff but this life this life is something that you must experience from within you must experience this life from within it's beautiful